Hello and welcome to Oso Nano Breweries Brew How To. Today we're going to be showing you how we brew delicious ales here at Oso. To get started, here's a brief overview of the general brewing process. The steps to brew beer are as follows. First we want to mill the grains we've selected, which goes into the mash, where it is stirred, sparged, and transferred to the boil kettle. Then the wort is cooled as it transfers to the fermenter. Here is where yeast is pitched and where wort becomes beer. We then condition the beer in cold storage. Next, the kegging process. And of course, to enjoy your beer, you must tap it and drink it. That's good beer. This is our restaurant and brew house and our brewing system and head brewer, Johan, the Pied Piper of Yeast. Greetings. Thanks for joining us today. This is our nano brewery where our Oso's outrageous beer is brewed. Before brewing process, a recipe is crafted, which is vital for creating great beer. The first step in the brewing process is milling, where we will mill the grains specific to the created recipe. During this process, we will fill seven five-gallon buckets with crushed grains before starting the dough in. Step two, the mash. First, crushed grains are evenly added to hot water where they will steep, similar to making a cup of tea. This is called the dough in. After about 90 minutes, we begin to add more hot water to fill the boil kettle. We've now begun the sparge, where water is circulated through the grains, bringing our recipe to life, creating the wort, which is simply unfermented beer. Step three, boiling. Now that we have wort, we will add hops and any other ingredients needed for the recipe. The boiling process is anywhere from 60 to 120 minutes. The idea being to get the flavor, body, and level of alcohol desired for that recipe. Meanwhile, the boil also pasteurizes the wort so that it's a safe place for the yeast. Step four, cooling. Now that boiling is complete, we cool the wort through our handcrafted 200 foot copper heat exchanger, which is cooled by ice water. During this, you can view the color of the wort as it is cooled down to 60 degrees, so that the yeast doesn't die when it's pitched. You'll also see bubbles at the sight glass this is because we are adding oxygen for yeast growth. We will then take an original gravity reading, measuring the density of the sugars in solution. Step five, fermentation. The start of fermentation is when yeast is pitched. Yeast is the magical essence of beer. For about 10 days, the yeast eats the sugars in the wort, creating alcohol and carbon dioxide. When fermentation is complete, we can then move on to step six, the crashing and conditioning of our now beer. After fermentation, we will take a final gravity test. Using this and the original gravity and some tricky math, we will then know the alcohol level of our beer. During the cold crash, we store our beer at 33 degrees for about four days. This allows all the sediment and yeast to settle to the bottom of the fermenter for easy removal. In a brewery, we reuse the yeast for several generations. Once the beer is separated from the yeast and sediment, it is naturally bright and we can move on to step seven, 
kegging. Now that our beer is conditioned, it is then carbonated to the appropriate level for that style of beer. It is then racked into a keg where it is ready to be tapped and enjoyed. Step 8. Tapping and drinking. And of course, after all this hard work, we tap a keg, pull a tap handle, and enjoy the fine nectar known as beer. I hope you found this video informative and fun. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you soon here at Oso Nanobrewery.